Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D, and thanks for tuning in to how to get the most out of your snare. So right now, as you can see, I'm using Addictive Drums, and I just programmed it using the piano roll here. This is what my drums sound like, and pay close attention to the snare. So you're probably like, where is the snare? If you listen closely, it is there. <laughs> right, so this is probably a snare that you have in your library or whatever. And uh, kind of sounds like this. And in addictive drums, I tried to emulate that. So we're going to amp this up and get the best out of our snares. So let's get on with it. Uh, first thing to do is to choose a snare that pretty much matches the kind of beat that you're using or song that you're making. So let's go ahead and just toggle through the snares. You can also choose the bigger the snare, the nicer this would sound. But that's not always true. So let's just start off with the bigger snare. I think I found it. Now we're gonna amp, we're gonna amp this uh, snare up. So let's bring it into the edit window. Now I just access that by clicking this little E button here, or you can go to edit over here, and uh, we can edit the snare now. So the first things I would do to amp up my snare and get the most out of my snare is turn up some overheads. Let's listen to what this sounds like now. big change lots of ear candy already we can also turn up the room these are the room mics and already that sounds pretty good we can enable the pitch and volume Sounds great. Heavier drums, volume. We'll keep it normal. Have some. F we have a filter here. We can also go onto the bottom section here. Add some buzz. So basically the buzz is the snare and whenever I hit another instrument, for instance the kick, you'll notice that the snare will interact with it. You can see with it off, you don't hear the buzz sound from the snare. It's just a little bit more realistic if you have it on. I'm going to keep it halfway. Maybe more than halfway. Right, and we can also choose which mic we want to use, either top, or bottom, or both. Let's give a listen. kind of like more of the bottom side so I'm going to put 65% to the bottom good and let's add a compressor here uh, this is your threshold and I'm probably going to set that to about 20 maybe 28 somewhere around here my ratio knob is here I'm at 5-ish to 1 
keep it there. Alright, my attack is, uh, it's probably medium. I'm gonna make it a little quicker than that. My release is a little slower, that's good. Great. Uh, we can add some distortion if we want to. Depends on you know what kind of music you're making. Right. All depends on what you're making. I'm gonna have that off. And of course, to have the EQ on is essential. want too much lows. Now my theory is you want to take out the lows without affecting the snare sound. natural sounding snare that sounds good actually we can add some saturation and uh, let's see how this sounds now can you make it lower I like tuned down snares um, a lot actually, I don't know why. Just sounds great in, you know, heavy drums. Alright, so other things that we can do is send it to the effects over here and I have my room one and two and uh, right now I don't believe uh, any of them are on. In order to send them to the effects you have to go here, click, and I'm just going to send it to one of them. sounds awesome the reverb sounds amazing let's see here now we can also change the room You have an EQ to get the right tone of reverb, the right sound of reverb. You can also amp up the reverb. You can also make it pre-master. Or post. You can also affect the dampening by clicking here. I like my dampening all the way up actually. You can also mess around with the pre-delay. I usually don't go higher than 10 milliseconds, but that's really up to you of course. And uh, if we go ahead back to the edit window and send it to the second reverb. You 
can hear the ear candy that it's doing. Very widespread reverb room. So that's pretty much how we get the most out go. of our snare. This also applies to other VSTs. Um, use know your tools, people. Um, you got some pitch tools, volume tools, compressor, distortion, EQ, saturation, reverb, rooms, different types of reverb, right? EQ the reverb. Do a whole sorts of things to everything that you do, and uh, you pretty much find the right snare sound that you're looking for. Right, so uh, thanks for tuning in to how to get the most out of your snare. And I'm Dan D, and I hope to see you guys in another episode. Thanks for watching.